It's kind of weird to ask this question to Ajahn, but I'll ask anyway. <laughs> Why? If it's weird, just don't do it anyway. As a person, there's a time of the month where I become a monster for a few days due to hormonal thingy, PMS. I become highly sensitive, angry over small things, keep on remembering past mistakes and take everything people do personally. Sometimes the sadness is so overwhelming that I feel depressed. I wept all, I wept, although actually everything in my life is going well, but a few days later I feel fine. My question, how to deal with an emotional roller coaster like this when it happened because of biological reasons? Although it passed in just a few days, I find it unbearable and overwhelmed during those few days. So, what to do? You can have all these hormonal attitudes or whatever. Does that work? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> no, what you can do is remember what I said. If you are grumpy, be happy to be grumpy. Because it's out of control. So when you try and control those uh, times when you feel upset, when you feel sick, when you feel really grumpy, if you try and control it because there must be something wrong, that is a problem. But it's quite obvious. It's out of control, it's hormonal, it's whatever it happens to be. So, it's a great lesson in no will, it's not up to you, it just happens anyway. You know, we asked uh, Ajahn Chah once, what would happen if an enlightened being, an arahat, got bitten by a rabid dog? Would it get rabies? He said, yeah, sure it will. Because it's not, nothing to do with a being or a person. Like an arahat can control everything, can actually stop getting sick. So instead, you know, it's just realizing this body's out of control. It does what it needs to do. Can an enlightened being stop dying or stop sickness or stop old age? Of course they can't. They understand it. So, uh, it was um, one of the stories of the fiercest, toughest monks in the ti in you know, recent times, you know, Ajahn Mahabur. And when I went to visit him for six or seven days, he, he told his story. And he didn't know I understood Thai perfectly, but uh, this is the story he told, because he was telling it for me. He said this is for the Ajahn Chah Western monk who's just come. And because it was a bit unusual for him to say this, I remembered it and thought it was a wonderful teaching. He said, that like many monks in that time, living in the jungles, they would get malaria. It was just you know, like getting a flu or getting hay fever in Australia. It's just what happens. And there's nothing really you can do about it. So he was having a fit of malaria one day, and he was a tough monk. So when it was a time to do your duties, just because he was sick and not feeling good, that was no excuse. Just like you, if you're feeling a bit sickly and tired, that's no excuse not to clean the toilets and to do the washing up and whatever duties are assigned to you in this Sajana Grove retreat. You just go out and do it. I am strong. I'm not going to give in to this namby pamby cream puff business just because you're sick, you can't go to work. So, in the middle of a fever, he got down. Oh, that's a worm and a pile of shit you're taking out. <laughs> Is it a worm? Yeah, let it listen to the dumber. <laughs> <laughs> it might want to go to heaven. <laughs> so, this little, um, where am I going? I forgot now what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm a boy, yeah, middle of a fever. It was the time for the duties. So, he got up sweating, shivering, weak, 
He put on his robes and he took up a broom and he used the power of his mind. He wasn't going to give it. He swept and swept, even though he was sweating and shaking and sweating. and st They don't make monks like that these days. <laughs> they don't make nuns like that these days, do they? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> now, what he, <laughs> what he did was, Ajahn Man saw him, his teacher, and he scolded him, you stupid monk, that's not what to do. You know that he told him, if you have a fever or a sickness, you don't fight it, you don't try and conquer it. That's not the job of Buddhism. You investigate it. Just go back up to your hut, lay down, and get to know sickness. Don't fight it. Know it. It's a wonderful little teaching because so often we like to control things. This isn't the real me. I'm in a bad mood, and that's, you can't be in a bad mood. A monk's not supposed to be in a bad mood. But when you are... <laughs> You've got to admit it. So, one of the nice things, you investigate it. Find out what its causes are. And just like the anger-eating monster story, that you learn how to be kind to it. So, you've got sicknesses, you've got hormonal stuff, chemical stuff, all types of stuff which is going on. Be kind to it. If you're mindful and kind, not trying to get rid of it, not trying to control it, but just opening the door of your heart, the fact this is what happens when you get old, when you get stuff going in your body, it just happens. So that way, you find, actually, the, the, when you don't try and get rid of it, when you accept it, the symptoms get much less. So, just let it be. Dogs go woof woof. You can't stop a dog going woof woof. You tell it, dog, noble silence. And you go, woof, 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 woof. <laughs> <laughs> you can teach dogs some things. There are some really clever dogs. This dog I read about, because you know these dogs in Australia, these Kelpies, they're incredible. There's one dog, it's you know, one of the pub stories. The, uh, somebody went into the pub and found this, this dog, you know, playing poker with his... his um, <laughs> <laughs> his, his mate. And he went and said, wow, that really is a very, very, very smart dog who can play poker. And the other said, he's not smart. Every time he gets a good hand, he wags his tail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> not a bad one. Anyway, well, so, so when you have anything like that, just, it just allow, allow it to be. Don't fight it. Fighting it makes it get worse. Why do we fight it? Because we feel ashamed about it. It's not what we're supposed to do. So, just let go. <laughs>